Hello again, everyone. I have a couple of small updates. Haven't put one out for a while, but uh, like Tony, I've been dealing with a little water in the basement. We've got that all fixed. Not nothing like Tony had, but uh, took a little bit of time. So uh, only have a couple of things. Uh, I've got the car dealerships pretty well outfitted. Ford has major their Ford stock, and the Chevy has their GM stock. And it's going to go all the way around. I've got the lot extends out in the back. I've uh, mainly worked at this end, where this is the new section that I've completed, where the IC crosses the GMO double main and has its connection to it, just like it is in then downtown normal. Uh, I got the, the 30 degree uh, crossings that fit perfectly. The two will meet here, and there at this point there's going to be a 24 inch drop down, which so I'll be able to get inside of the layout, and it'll connect in 24 inches, and then the rest of the table will come from over in the corner and connect up here, and we will be close. The IC ends here, of course, and it just dies out. This is the normal, this is the normal train station at the uh, intersection of those two lines. So I was really pleased how that came out. I've uh, made it very sturdy so when the extension is or the drop down is on there that uh, it'll be very solid for it. Made some laundry storage. Come around the corner. Also in normal where the uh, it's now a bar. There used to be a Purina feed store right on Linden Street. So this will be it. There was a little siding for it so I installed a little siding off the one of the mains. And uh, through here where the trees are sitting, that'll be Linden Street will cross here. And the feed store will be on this side. And then Buford Street in Normal, which is downtown Normal, will go and come at an angle across here. And we'll come out through here. And all along through here, I have uh, six buildings ordered. I have one of the merchant uh, sets coming from Walters and a couple of others to make the Banner Bread and the uh, Josie's Restaurant. So the whole section of Buford Street will be complete here. We come around the corner. You can see that I still have the coal train out here. I've added uh, four cars to it, and I've got three more coming. So uh, I should, in all, end up with three SD40s and 20 coal hoppers for all coal hoppers, and of course the caboose. So I'd like to be able to have it long enough to where it's in different parts of the table as it's going around. Um, Tuanda, I've marked out the streets, and I've added a, I got a nice semi, green semi to go into the uh, elevator. Also, I uh, completed the green storage building that came with the kit. I didn't know if I was going to put it up, but I have plenty of room, so it's installed. So the whole facility looks pretty good now. And comes around the corner. Of course, you can see the dealerships from the back. It was a very busy corner. At, uh, Beltline Road and Morrissey Drive because it was 150 and 66 so I'm going to start working on some streets I have put some I started laying some cork in I've got uh, I'm not real good at cork I'm going to learn how to do the corners and everything shouldn't be too bad I'm going to come around the corner and I've also decided I'm going to do a little more expansion where right here in the curve I'm going to have a straight out goes straight out to the edge of the table that will be the Norfolk and Western that goes directly east from Bloomington. I'm going to take this shelving unit out. I'm going to add a 24 inch deep table all over to, all the way over to that wall and that shelf is going to be the train top and shelving underneath and then on, up on top I'm going to put shelves to put my extra rolling stock and out in the back here is where Norfolk and Western goes out and crosses the Twanda Barnes Road and there's an electrical substation and a softball field. And I just discovered the softball diamond that you can buy on eBay now, and I went and ordered one. So it's going to be a little corner out there, a little extra part of East Bloomington. So it's kind of all I've done right now. I'm getting back into it after the uh, water ordeals. And uh, I think we're going to be do well. So I just want to let you know. Um, I'll let you know in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.